Hello everyone. Yesterday I was messing around in Universe Sandbox 2 and I accidentally made a Quasar. But what's interesting about it is I'm pretty sure it's a bug. I don't think it's actually an intended feature in the game. But if I go ahead and select the sun here and slow down time, so things do not go flying off, I can increase the mass of the sun to 1.28. And then once I increase the mass any further, what will happen is it will turn into a small nova remnant, which is essentially a neutron star. If I reselect it and go to materials, I could actually go ahead and hit this make pulsar button. And what that'll do is it'll cause jets of energy at the north and south poles of this star. Now if I go back to basic, what I can do is I can lock the mass and then change the radius to something incredibly small and start reducing it from there. And what will happen is you will compress all that mass that is locked into a very small point, increasing its density, allowing nothing to escape. And then what does that do? That makes a black hole. Now, this is a really cool effect. What happens is you have a black hole ejecting energy out of its north and south poles, effectively making it a quasar instead of a pulsar. Now, this is a bug because if you actually save the game and try to load this, this effect will disappear. But it's really cool for a little bit of a demonstration purpose. But the thing is, I cannot actually increase the mass of the black hole. While I can, things will start flying into the center of it. It will get the gravity as if I was increasing the mass. But it doesn't actually increase the radius. I cannot increase the radius beyond this point. But what I discovered is, if I actually go to a body such as Jupiter, that's a planet, and go ahead and increase its mass to 1.28 of sun, what will happen is you'll get a star. And then once you increase it further, you get your nova remnant. And then go ahead and lock the mass and reduce the radius to a very small point. That of like less than a kilometer. and then you'll end up with again another quasar. But what's cool is if you make it out of a planetary body rather than a star, you could actually increase the mass to any amount that you would like until you hit the limit of the game. So here is a super dense black hole that is essentially 5,000 times more dense than the sun. But for some reason, this will jet out a lot more than the other one but this one has significantly more gravity. So if I actually speed up the game, what'll happen is everything will start getting sucked in. Because this is actually a much more powerful black hole. So the effect is a little bit buggy, but again, I don't think it's actually an intended feature of the game. Now I'm flinging everything around and sucking things in and Jupiter has gone mad. But one thing that's cool is if I go ahead and go to the simulation supernova in a galaxy and let's just go ahead and remove this star right here let that fade out and go over to the black hole now this was featured in an anton in one of anton's videos where he essentially turned this galaxy into a pulsar let's go ahead and slow down time there we go and what he did is he added a small neutron star orbiting around the black hole and turned it into a very large pulsar to make this look like a quasar galaxy. But what's cool is I could actually do this with a planetary body such as Jupiter around the black hole. Whoops, I accidentally made a couple of them. Let's go ahead and delete this one and remove the black hole. Now if I select Jupiter and go ahead and zoom in. Oh wow, I haven't made a lot of them. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of these. Okay, so here we go. We got Jupiter. 
Now if I go ahead and do the same thing, increase its mass to 1.28 sun. Turning it into a star. Let's go ahead and resume time and there we go. Now we have our pulsar. Lock the mass and change its value of radius much smaller and decrease it until it turns into a black hole. And then once it collapses in on itself, we can start increasing the radius to make it look much like this is a pulsar galaxy. So let's go ahead and unlock this and change its mass to Milky Way. Just Milky, I guess as the game calls it. Go ahead and set this to 1500. There we go. Now we have a super massive black hole in the center of this galaxy. And to add to the effect, I can go ahead and go to motion and re reduce this to seconds. And let's go ahead, or actually let's make this minutes. Let's make this every one minute. It'll rotate. Let's go ahead and slow down time. And there we go. We have our quasar galaxy. Of course, that effect is bigger than the galaxy itself. I could not actually figure out how to narrow these streams down to look a little bit more, I guess, realistic probably isn't a good term, but better, I guess. But effectively, here you go. Here is a pulsar galaxy. Of course, this is actually much more massive than you would expect the black hole in a galaxy to be, so if I was actually to speed up time, everything around here would actually just get sucked straight into the black hole. But it's a really cool effect. It looks really nice. Let's go ahead and speed up time and see what happens. When Anton did this, he used a small, like, neutron star that was jetting energy, and it looked much nicer. And as you can tell, the black hole actually clips through the galaxy's textures here, but... Oh well, it's a bug. Alright, let's reduce time to thousands of years per second. Oh wow. Kind of looks like a uh, ring galaxy when it all distorts like that. You can see like a ring going on around here. It's kind of cool looking. Anyways, let me show you real quick what I mean. Binary pulsar. As you can tell by this demonstration, this is two small little neutron stars venting energy, but these are tiny. And their streams are much more concentrated and they look a lot better, which would be a much better example when you uh, make a quasar galaxy. I don't really know how to narrow these streams down to make it look better, but I'll show you right now that if you attempt to save while doing this bug, when you load, it will not actually keep the effect, it'll just make a black hole in the center. Anyways, if you liked the video, go ahead and like it. If you would like to subscribe, I hope to continue to do Universe Sandbox videos, because this game's actually really fun. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.